This has been the longest piece of art that I've known of, of Ellsworth, that from concept to realization. It's been something that Ellsworth's been fascinated and wanting to do for, it goes back to the 80s. Ellsworth had a collector and friend, Douglas Kramer, well-known producer of Dynasty and Love Boat. He had a vineyard in Los Olivos. After I had discussed with Ellsworth the thought of a chapel, he came one weekend and had a package with him. It was the model. He'd made it. And he said, this is it. Let's go. Wow. That's it. It related to the house. It was a beautiful form and shape and then began a two or three year development. I think the idea of doing a building to him was, was exciting. He went back to his roots in France. He loves Romanesque and Cistercian architecture. He had visited a number of sites when he was a young student in France between 1948 and 54. Ultimately, Doug uh, sold that property and it, it never uh, was executed there. My memory is that among the things that I first encountered in his studio was the original model. But I remember that model always being there. I don't think he ever lost the hope that it might someday be done. I see it as something he cared deeply about doing. It's what he put his passion into at the end of his life. And that was such a gift. I think it kept him going. Going to the museum, experiencing the light and the change of light as it moved was something I wasn't quite as prepared for, as, as moving as it is. The thing most to remember about the chapel is that it's totally Ellsworth. It's Ellsworth's vision, it's his art, it's his passion. He said it was, to me, toward the, one of the last times we talked, that it was such a wonderful working experience and that everybody respected him and wanted to make, to create what he wanted. I think it's an incredible achievement. There's nothing else like it that will there ever be.